Today, we're gonna check out the new trailer for Trigun Stampede. This is a new Trigun anime. I don't know if it's a reboot or not. And I have never seen Trigun. I didn't watch the original Trigun. I don't know what Trigun's all about, but I'm interested because, you know, I, I think that Trigun was one of those series that a lot of people recognize as like one of those classics, you know? So I, I would love to see it redone modern not like in a modern setting you know what i mean like with modern animation and 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 just done to that perfection this classic series looking so nice that that's like really what i'm looking for here i'm hoping that's what this is i have not seen the trailer so let's jump into it oh Oh, wait, this is like a CG. Who's this studio? This looks good. Orange, of course, of course. Can I just pause real quick? Of course it's orange. Every time I say good things about CG, it's always fucking orange. Every time, every time. I kind of had a feeling too. It kind of was giving me like, just like the, like in the moment where it like zoomed in for a second, kind of gave me like um, a B-Stars vibe. So of course it is, of course it is. Oh, shit. Oh. Ah. Y'all got me wondering, is this a reboot or not? Somebody let me know in the comments. Is this like a reboot of the Trigun series? Is this a continuation of it? I imagine they're just redoing it, right? Because the original is so old, might as well just make a new version. And you know what? If any CG, if you're ever going to do a studio that does CG, always go orange. Every time, always go orange. Because orange, man, they are just, they are built different when it comes to CG. Like, if we were going to... If, if 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 we did a, another Berserk series and they really had to go CG, orange. You know what I'm saying? Like orange is just, I think one of the best when it comes to, to that, um, that CG animation. It's so good. So you know what? Let's actually revisit everything here. Let's go back over it. I want to take a look at everything again because this looks pretty damn good. All right, so we start off. He's running away. Proceed to the escape pods. I'm assuming this is the Trigun guy. And then this is a, a brother, brother figure, mother figure. I don't know if she's like a scientist and they're like lab babies or she adopted them or because they don't look exactly like they don't look like their siblings. They just have like similar hairstyles. And I don't know. So his name's Vash. He gets sent away with his brother. That's his brother there. It looks good though. It looks good. But this is the moment I'm talking about right here. That, that little zoom in right there at the end there. Boom. That is what gave me like a B-Stars vibe. Like those little tiny, mm, looks so good. Anyways, they leave, big explosion. And that's him now, right? Honestly, looks pretty fucking cool. I gotta get a hoop for this year. I'm gonna cosplay him, shave my beard, psych. Can't do that. I would look like a child. There's monsters and stuff in this world. Vash the Stampede. Oh, is that what the Trigun guy's name is? Vash the Stampede? Looks kind of cool, I like this. Looks like he's just a fun guy to hang out with. And this was awesome. I like this. He just dodge, dodge. And then the animation of the gun here. Oh my God. Look at this. They got little sparks coming out. Is it like coming out like dust particles or something? Oh, that looks sick. That looks dope. He loads a weapon, fires a shot, man. That looks, I mean, it looks really cool. Trigun Stampede. Cause his name's Vash the Stampede. So yeah, man, this is actually something I'm very much looking forward to. And I'm assuming he has this like the villain character is his brother grown up, something like that. They, they, at some point, their paths divert and Vash goes the way of like this heroic protagonist and then his 
brother or whatever is the villain that that's my guess and i i think it's pretty safe to assume now either the the brother is like the main villain or being used by the main villain but i that's what's gonna happen at some point again i've never seen the anime or or red trigun or anything like that but you know that's like one of those standard that, that's like a standard story plot not necessarily like anime but like standard story plot the person you grew up with your paths divert uh, diverge and then you know you're the good guy and they end up being the bad guy it's like it, you know it's common so i'm not gonna fault it for using like a standard trope in storytelling that's that's fine i am definitely interested so from here i want to know how you all felt about this how do you feel about cg animation first and foremost like do you dislike it do you like it do you make an exception for orange like for me cg animation can be really bad really really bad like if 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 cg animation is done as like a budget cut just to rush something and get it out there it's typically done bad and it's horrible horrible for the entire animation industry but cg if done well can improve things can make something that would be so intricate and tough to do like all the little lines and it, like I imagine that there's going to be a lot of moments in Chainsaw Man that have some CG stuff because just because of the way that like Chainsaw Man works, the fact that he's got chainsaws, chainsaw, and like the 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 intricacy of the of the neck and stuff with the brrr, I don't even know what to call it, like wires or whatever. I imagine that and other shit um, that I'm not going to get into because I don't want to spoil for everybody. But I imagine that those intricacies it, it's made so much easier by CG. Now. On the flip side, a studio like Orange, they just work in CG. You know, they, they don't do traditional animation hand-drawn, but they do what they do so fucking well. And that's what makes their stuff so great. And it's not like the studio that does um, Berserk, the new Berserk, which is not great, to, to put it very kindly, it's not great. You know, Orange specifically, they're not doing this like as like a, a, a rush process thing. They, I feel like they've, I don't want to say perfected, but the pretty fucking close to perfecting uh, the the CG animation and they do it so well. So I'm really excited for this. I think it looks good, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on first of all, the trailer, second of all, the CG, and then maybe non-spoiler thoughts on Trigun itself. What do you think about it? You can let me know down in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, then like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one. And until next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.